Hello friends, welcome to our channel, Be The Demigods Motivational. I am a student and we are all students of life. One day I found myself thinking as to why some people are really successful while some aren't. And what should I do in my life to be successful and to feel happy and fulfilled? There are many factors which determine success. One of the most important ingredients to success was self-discipline. I thought of exploring this topic of self-discipline and discussing the same with you guys. So let's start off with a quote. Life is easy when you live it the hard way. The only difference between mediocrity and success are making hard choices. How do you make these hard choices and achieve what you want? Self-discipline is the key that helps you to make these hard decisions instead of sticking to the easy way. So in this video, we are going to explore the vast topic of self-discipline. When you get up in the morning, what is the first thing you do? Do you brush your teeth? Do you walk around the house? Suppose you choose to brush your teeth. This is a default habit that we have developed and before we are even thinking about it, we are already doing it. Research suggests that it takes about 66 days to form a default habit and by practicing each day, it becomes our default behavior. Each day, you repeat the wanted behavior you need, less discipline to stick to. 66 days later, it takes the a little discipline to maintain the habit because it becomes automatic. I read this book, The Power of Habit, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business. It breaks down the habit into three elements, cue, action, and reward. Our brain follows a simple process. When the brain sees a familiar cue, it makes you perform the associated action in order to give the reward it craves. Let's take an example. If your cue is being offered a chocolate, your action is eating it and your reward is the explosion of sweetness in your mouth. Fortunately, we can use the exact same process to form a positive habit. Let's say that you want a reward of sweet taste and you start craving chocolates, but you want a healthier diet. So you replace that craving with apples instead. The first time will be the hardest. That is why when we need the self-discipline the most. Once you repeat the same behavior several times, it will get easier and easier to replace chocolate with an apple. After several weeks, you will grab an apple at the sight of a chocolate by default and refuse chocolate when offered. Developing new habits is the essence of self-discipline. Keystone habits are patterns that lead to transformation of several areas of life at once. Unsurprisingly, one of the most powerful habits that leads to changing other patterns is regular physical activity. Studies show that regular physical activity may lead to reduced overeating and obviously loss of weight and an overall better well-being. One habit you can introduce, with one habit you can introduce numerous other healthy changes with little or no resistance at all. Food journaling is another keystone habit. Research shows that people who journal their intake of food ate less and made healthier choices. In studies, none of the participants were encouraged to change any habits besides writing down what they ate every day. The change happened naturally. Waking up earlier, waking up even 15 minutes earlier can greatly affect each day and reduce stress and hurry, thus letting us make healthier decisions. Trying new things every day, stepping outside of your comfort zone, doing things that you have never done before will also help you discover new hobbies, meet new people, and it makes it easier to face your fears. Expressing gratitude. For the things you are thankful for, studies show that writing down three things that went on in a day that made you happy or made you smile leads to a steady increase in happiness levels. Building self-discipline can be difficult, but if you achieve some keystone habits in your life, you wouldn't need more self-discipline than you already have. Family and friends influence all aspects of our life. If you and all your friends sit in front of a television and are fat, it is possible that you have similar habits. For self-motivation, you need influence. That does not mean that you drop off all your friends and family. 
you simply go online and surround yourself with motivational and successful people. This will help you get surrounded with diff a different kind of energy. This is possible thanks to the internet. The challenges that people share online inspire me to push my boundaries. I, found, I find so much positive energy online that it helps me with my self-motivation. Very often you will see that in childhood, you are hanging out with people that are less ambitious and you will get influenced by it and it takes a lot of time to get on track. To get out of a vicious cycle at times, you might even have to cut ties. Friends, family and mentors, the 80-20 principle. 20% of your friends give you 80% of social enjoyment. If you think about your social network, you can easily tell who is a positive influence and the rest of the people you might not even like, but you keep meeting them out of bad habit. If you like to work on your self-discipline, reduce the amount of time you spend with people who lack self-discipline. Your self-discipline combined with the self-discipline of a friend Create a synergetic effect that will keep you going even on days when you would feel like giving in. The popular way of visualization is that you see yourself as having achieved your goal. Let's say you want to be an astronaut. Will just thinking like this get you to your goal? Why the popular way of visualization can actually prevent you from reaching your goals and destroy your self-control instead. Your future you isn't that different from the present you. It may happen that your discontent or your distance from your future self and your current self is large. You are in your school right now and your goal is to be an astronaut. As you do not know the interim steps that you need to clear to get to your goal, you may discount yourself and distance yourself from achieving your goal. Let's understand it a bit more of human behavior. There was a study done on students and they were offered one marshmallow now or two marshmallows if they took it after 15 minutes. It was surprising that how many did not wait and took the 50% reward instead. This is an instinct that goes for instant gratification rather than working for the future. If you can see your future and relate to it, uh, the way you have any temptations will improve your chances on self-discipline and self-control. Scientists have studied that people who could see their future self did more physical activity. So spend a minute or two thinking about yourself. What kind of person would you want to be? Then imagine the worst kind of person you could be. Which image do you think will motivate you more to stay away from instant gratification? Again, you think you have to be careful uh, to not let the false hope syndrome affect you. For example, if you have a set of goal that you want to lose 10 kg in a week, that is not realistic. And very soon you would have realized that you are not able to achieve that goal and you might get frustrated. Decision fatigue is simply not having the energy to make a decision. When this happens, people tend to stick with their status quo, neglecting to make the healthier decisions. Researchers studied that more than a thousand payroll decisions made by eight experienced judges in Israel over 50 days in a 10 month period. After a snack or a lunch break, 65% of the cases were granted payroll. The rate of favorable rulings then fell gradually, sometimes at lo as low as zero. Within each decision session, that would return a 65% after a break. Why President Obama wears only gray and blue suits and what it has to do with self-control. Obama said, you'll see that I only wear gray or blue suits. I am trying to pare down decisions. I don't want to make decisions about what I'm eating or what I'm wearing because I have too many other decisions to make. It's also possi a possible reason why poor people stay poor. Dean Spears of Princeton University argues in his paper that decision fatigue is one of the reasons why people who are not financially stable make impulsive purchases. Since they have less money to spend, each financial trade-off leaves them with less and less self-control than people who have more, a more disposable income. Decision fatigue can lead to decision avoidance in presence of too many choices. 
people tend to stick with their status quo. The most important way to reduce decision fatigue is to reduce the number of trivial decisions you make in your life. What do we learn from the example of the judges? Take important decisions of your life with a break. Do it in the morning when you are yet to make hundreds of decisions during the day. When you have too many decisions to make, it reduces the quality of decisions. Stress induces sorrow and the brain starts working on finding out ways to make you feel better. There was a study done in Australia on students. When students were in stress, they were likely to pick up smoking, caffeine and less likely to focus on their personal hygiene or eating healthy or physical activities. When you are stressed, it impacts your body and many people fail to admit that one of the best ways to reduce stress is physical activity. A few more ways to reduce stress are reading a book, going for a walk, meditating, spending time with friends and family, which helps you break, give you a break and you forget your problems and listening to music. Idea is to focus on activity that acts as a break and gives you stress free response, not just a quick relief from tension. Powerful ways to avoid the choices before they come into motion. Prevention is the best medicine. So you should plan in advance to prevent these temptations. If you are always hungry at 10 a.m., it is better to pack a healthy snack rather than looking for a spare cash to buy fast food. If you want to stop arguing with people, try to avoid them. Come up with a practice to avoid people who always argue with you. Set up roadblocks. Avoid buying discounted things to prevent yourself from giving in to temptations. To stop mindlessly surfing the internet, turn off your Wi-Fi or block access to sites that distract you. You can also schedule indulgences. Pick up a day in a calendar when you allow yourself to eat whatever you want to eat. For the rest of the days, you follow a strict diet. Extreme diets help people achieving long-term results, as you can apply this in your own life. Powerful ways to avoid the choices before they come into motion. Prevention is the best medicine. So you should plan in advance to prevent these temptations. If you are always hungry at 10 a.m., it is better to pack a healthy snack rather than looking for a spare cash to buy fast food. If you want to stop arguing with people, try to avoid them. Start now. Give up all your excuses and take responsibility of the changes you will or won't make in your life. If you find yourself making excuses, revisit your goals. Self-discipline depends on the motivation you have. With no motivation, there is little or no self-control, no matter how disciplined you are. You have to come up with a more powerful why. Why do you want to become successful? If you are doing things to make other people jealous, or are you doing it because you want to do it and doing this will make you happier and achieve your goal? You are likely to keep up your commitments to yourself if you choose the latter. It's your own desire to be happier and str a stronger self. Research conducted in academic context suggests that intrinsic personal goals like happier, a happier self, society contributions or personal growth increases the short term and long term persistence of learning than intrins extrinsic goals like making someone jealous or physical appearance or financial success. If you have a strong why, it is likely to keep you going even more when life tests you with increasing temptations. Positive permanent changes in life are more rewarding and it makes a happier you. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.